and welcome back to the channel. This is Rob from Hey Rob Bob. In today's video, you will see what comes with the Zoom H6 package, understand and hear the audio differences from my test recordings, and find out what extra superpowers you will get with this product. Do bear in mind that I'm neither sponsored nor a brand ambassador for any of these products. So rest assured that I will be giving my personal and most honest opinion on whether they actually serve up to the job. Be warned! This part 2 session is slightly more technical than my previous review of the Rode VideoMic NTG microphone in part 1, but still equally useful as I will be sharing some unexpected findings with the Zoom H6 recorder. If you have yet to catch part 1, you can catch it in the video link listed in the description below. I was unexpectedly blown away by the versatility, convenience and performance of the Rode VideoMic NTG microphone during my previous review. Having already purchased this Zoom H6 portable recorder, I had then thought that this purchase might have been excessive and an overkill add-on to my current setup. However, I have heard some great reviews of the benefits of using the Zoom H6 for improved audio recordings and finally decided to go ahead with this unboxing and hear the actual difference myself. On first impressions, I can immediately hear and monitor the difference in sensitivity of my microphones with the added headphone connection with the Zoom H6 as compared to my iPhone XR. The additional audio gains control on the Zoom H6 further increases my ability to tweak and improve my live recordings, which is definitely a step up from my Rode VideoMic NTG plus iPhone XR combination. Before we move into some advanced audio discussions with the Zoom H6 recorder, let me first break down to you on some key industry terms I've learned thus far that are related to the product. The WAV and MP3 digital audio formats have been around for a very long time and are supported by many hardware and software recorders and players. Notably, WAV is a long-standing standard for uncompressed raw audio where you will typically find the highest quality recordings used mainly for live concerts or production audio. While MP3 is a compressed audio format with variable audio quality that is usually used in portable music players or streaming music. Theoretically, the following chart shows the audio quality differences across these two formats. There are a wide variety of audio cables in the market and here I will touch on the ones commonly used as an industry standard for premium and general audio needs. Both the XLR and TRS tip are considered the premium standard used typically in professional settings, utilizing its balanced audio capacity to cancel out most audio interference during signal transmissions across distances along the cables. The AUX aka 3.5mm stereo standard is found commonly in consumer settings due to its smaller connectors and lightweight cables. In addition, its frequent use across short distances also help make any audio interference highly irrelevant. Instead of a typical analog signal that most audio cables carry, the USB standard uses a digital signal which will not be affected by any audio interference. This fact helps make the USB standard a growing cabling alternative used in many professional and consumer settings. At the end of the day, should you intend to do recordings over long distances, do consider getting either the XLR or TRS tip standard to minimize potential audio interference. 
In the following tests, I will be using a direct microphone recording without any mufflers to test how each bare microphone can better filter the vocals from the surrounding ambient noise. Here is a brief contrast between individual abilities and strengths of the test microphones used in the audio test. The Rode VideoMic NTG is a target-focused super cardioid microphone that picks up audio within a close to mid-range, whereas the Zoom XY capsule is a cardioid microphone that picks up more surrounding audio within a close to near range. In a different category by itself, the Zoom MS capsule is a combination of both a forward-facing cardioid microphone and a side-facing bi-directional microphone. This creates a flexible recording combination that can be altered to record audio from different distances to suit to more unique projects. Comparing with the sample audio, you will hear the first set of 7 pairs of gains tweaking followed by a second set of 6 samples that compare between the different microphones set up for the Zoom H6 recorder. I will give a brief hearing feedback of each track in both sets, followed by a top 3 ranking of which test microphone setup actually sounds the best to me in the second set. For my control, a test sample audio is pre-recorded directly onto my iPhone XR's on-phone microphone. This will get me a stereo recording of all the foreground and background noises to help better test how each microphone setup will pick up and filter off the audio. The sample track is then played at a fixed speaker volume and at a fixed distance in a standardized microphone setup. This is a mic check audio clip with the up highs and the down lows. This is a mic check audio clip with the up highs and the down lows. This is a mic check audio clip with the up highs and the down lows. This is a mic check audio clip with the up highs and the down lows. This is a mic check audio clip with the up highs and the down lows. This is a mic check audio clip with the up highs and the down lows. This is a mic check audio clip with the up highs and the down lows. This is a mic check audio clip with the up highs and down lows. My recommended gain setup for a normal voiceover recording on both the Zoom H6 recorder and the Rode VideoMic NTG would be a gain setting of 5 on the recorder and 7 on the microphone. The addition of a foam muffler will also help better improve the overall quality of your recording. This is a mic check audio clip with the up highs and the down lows. This is a mic check audio clip with the up highs and the down lows. This is a mic check audio clip with the up highs and the down lows. This is a mic check audio clip with the up highs and the down lows. This is a mic check audio clip with the up highs and the down lows. This is a mic check audio clip with the up highs and the down lows. The Rode VideoMic NTG still stands clear as the best sounding vocal capturing device in this bare microphone's comparison. It has this ability to emphasize on the vocals and recreate this fuller audio with a deeper bass for very soothing audio playback that just makes it a clear winner. Now I'll be sharing my top 3 quick thoughts about the greats and the bads of the Zoom H6 portable recorder.
The Zoom H6 recorder is definitely an overkill addition to my iPhone XR Plus Rode VideoMic NTG setup. However, I do see it as a valuable investment step when I'm planning for some future camera upgrades as well to increase my overall production value. One key attraction is that it helps to easily record across different audio inputs and merge multiple high-quality audio tracks continuously in one setting. This helps to save significant time during filming and post-editing. The product also serves as a portable audio studio to carry to external shoots, helping to safely record great audio with backups and even execute on-the-go advanced audio edits in one take. I would say that the Zoom H6 is a great pairing especially for live audio recordings, podcasts, indie films or experimental audio projects. It is definitely an optional and not ideal choice for individuals doing vlogging or one-channel audio recordings. Overall, the Zoom H6 does not come cheap as it costs roughly 1-2 to two Rode VideoMic NTGs and buy it only when you have additional budget to spare or you have a long-term plans to upgrade your overall kit. There was actually a newer Zoom H6 Black version that was released back in April 2020. This silver version that I've reviewed was a 2013 release that was recently being discontinued. I bought it at a discount in early June 2020 and besides the key difference in the black paint finish, both versions of the Zoom H6 still work and function practically the same way. In addition, there is a new Zoom 8 that was being launched very recently in July 2020. The newer version offers the increased functionality of up to 12 tracks of high quality audio recordings and significantly better improvements to the overall software and hardware interface. The build frame is definitely bulkier and the price tag is definitely much bigger. Though the Zoom 8 looks great on the outside, it is a way excessive purchase for most individuals or small sized content creators. And that's about it folks! Thanks for making time to support my part 2 technical video of the unboxing of the Zoom H6 Portable Recorder. This is definitely a very challenging and time consuming video to make as I attempted to dive deep into this unknown and brand new topic to me. I'm excited to restart and create new content into my favourite topics on photography and technology and we'll be looking forward to sharing them with you real soon. Meanwhile, do consider to like, comment and subscribe to this new channel to show your support.